today we're going to make my ribs. So the first thing we're going to do is open these up and rinse them off. They're St. Louis cut. Nothing super fancy. A lot of people prefer baby backs. I don't personally prefer those. I like the St. Louis cut ribs. Put these with some cold water and rinse them off. Okay, next thing we got to do is we're going to take this membrane off the back of here. You can't get smoke or rub or anything to penetrate through it. So we're just going to cut the corner there, raise it up off the bone, and take a piece of paper towel. And you'll find that you can grab a hold of that and rip it right off of there using that paper towel. Okay, you got a baking sheet here. It's uh, covered in aluminum foil. I'll keep things clean. I'm going to do the back side of these first. You can use a commercial rub. You can buy lots of them in the store these days. I have to make my own. Uh, we'll flash up on the screen there in a second. And you can see exactly what's in mine. Some of the ingredients might look a little strange. Butter powder, tomato powder. Uh, you'll find if you go online, you can order powder just about anything. It's not super expensive to do it this way. Is the rub also doubles as you can see on the recipe you can make the uh, barbecue sauce out of it we just want to coat these nicely Got our ribs all rubbed. We're gonna let these sit for about an hour and let that rub just kind of moisten and soak into the meat a little bit. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our tray that we would normally use to put our charcoal on for barbecuing. We're gonna set it at its highest level. That way we can use it as a baffle to channel that heat from that firebox into the entire smoke chamber rather than all have it just come out at the right end. Now, this will give us a lot more even heat, better cooking. And that small opening you can still see in the top there, we're going to cover that up with an aluminum roasting pan, aluminum foil. And it's going to double for us. It's going to turn this into a wet smoker. We're going to dump about a half a bottle of apple juice into it. Once that heat comes up out of that right end, it's going to turn that apple juice into steam. That's going to keep the bottom of our ribs nice and moist and it's also going to help cook them. They're going to come out real tasty. Our crates back on. Take our ribs. Position them. Right on the grates. You want the thick end down towards the firebox. Today we're going to be using apple wood to smoke these ribs. It gives it a nice flavor. It's nice and mild. We don't want to use too much of it. Our smoke chamber is not that large, so we don't really need a whole lot in there to flavor the meat. And what we don't want to do is we don't want the smoke to overpower the flavor of the pork. We want to be able to taste the pork in those ribs and that rub. Put some apple juice in this spray bottle. We're going to come out here in an hour. We're going to use it to mist our ribs. Keep them nice and moist on top. Well, our first hour is up and it's time to mist our ribs here. We got our apple juice. I'm going to spray them real good. A little dry on top, you'll find. This will moisten up that rub. Let it do its magic. Keep the ribs nice and moist. 
add another layer of flavor. Let's let them cook. There are three hours are up and it's time to wrap our ribs. What we're gonna do is take some brown sugar. Make a nice bed of that. Top of that, you've got squeezed butter. On top of that, you're going to squeeze some honey. We're going to put this the meaty side down, right on top of that brown sugar. Wrap them up nice and tight. Do that with all three racks, put them back on the grill for another hour. Fourth hour is up, our ribs are done. Time to unwrap them. Now, just to give you a warning, there's gonna be a lot of juice in here, a lot of liquid. It's very hot. You're going to want to pour that off into the sink. Then we can get to our ribs. There's our baked pan. There's our sweet, delicious St. Louis style ribs. Now, if you want to put a glaze on these or some sauce, now is the time to do it. Got some barbecue sauce here that I've watered down a little bit with some Coca-Cola. And then we're just going to take a silicone brush and brush that over top of them. Give them a glaze. Adds another layer of flavor. Makes them look nice. You want to set that. Put these back onto the barbecue for about 30 minutes. And set that sauce. Otherwise, they're ready to cut and serve.